Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are creating this BMR calculator using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And in the previous video, we wrote the HTML of this design. And this is how it looks right now. Now in this video, we will add the CSS and make it look like this. So let's get started. Right here, I'm in the source code of our uh, design and uh, here we have already linked our CSS file over here. So let's go to a style.css file and let's get started with the design. Now the first thing we will do is we will style the container division. So for the container division, we have a division with the class of BMR calculator. So let's go back to our style.css file and uh, let's type dot BMR calculator. And let's set a max width of 300 pixels and we will set the font family to Roboto and sans serif and uh, we'll also set a padding of 8 pixels top and bottom and 24 pixels left and right and we'll also add a box shadow and we'll set the values to 0, 4 pixels, 8 pixels, negative 3 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.3 and this is how it looks right now. Now we'll also add a line of code called box sizing and set it to border box so that we have the correct height and width for the elements. So let's type BMR calculator and we'll also select all the elements inside this BMR calculator division. So let's type comma and BMR calculator and asterisk. So this will select all the elements inside this class and let's set the box sizing to border box. All right now the first thing we will style is this heading. So for the heading we have an H2. So here we can see we have this H2. So let's style that. Here I'll just type BMR calculator H2. And let's set the text align to center. And we will set a background color of dark gray. And we'll set the color of the text to white. And let's set the font weight to 100. And now if we go back to the original design, we can see that we have this uh, heading spanning across uh, this container division. So here, if I just add a background color, we can see this is the width of this container division, which is BMR calculator. And we want this heading to have the same width. So for that, we can add a negative margin. So let's type margin. And here we can see we have added a padding of 8 pixels and 24 pixels. So we have to add a margin of negative 8 pixels and negative 24 pixels. And now we can see it is uh, having the same width as the container division. Right now let's add a margin bottom and let's set it to 8 pixels. And let's also add a padding and let's set it to 16 pixels. Right now let's remove this background color. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to style all these headings. Now for those headings we have an S3. So here we can see inside the form we have this S3 for age, gender and so on. So let's target the S3. I just type BMR calculator and it is inside the form. So I just have form S3. And uh, let's set the font size to 15 pixels. And uh, let's set text transform to uppercase. And I will also set a margin of 16 pixels top, 0 for right and 10 pixels bottom and 0 for left. Now the next thing we will style is these input fields. So the input fields are inside this form and we have this input field with the type of text. So let's target that here as a type BMR calculator. Form input with the type of text. And first of all, let's set a width of 100% and we will add a padding of 4 pixels top and bottom and 16 pixels left and right. And let's set the font size to 24 pixels and we'll set the font weight to bold and we'll also change the border. So I'll just have border and let's set it to 1 pixel solid and for the color we'll set it to D5DBDD. Now let's add a little bit of gap between all these elements. So we will target the form. So let's type BMR calculator form and let's set the display to flex and we'll set the flex direction to column 
and we will add a gap of 4 pixels. Alright, now let's add a left margin for the second radio button. So if you go back to our HTML, here we can see for the second radio button we have an ID of female. So let's type BMR calculator form female and let's set a margin left of 20 pixels. Alright, now let's style these units. We have centimeter and kg written over here. It should be positioned at the right side over here. So here we can see we have these units displayed over here at the right. Now if you go back to our HTML file, here we can see we have this uh, division with the class of height and in that we have this unit. So we'll position the unit relative to this height and uh, we will position this unit relative to this weight. So first of all, let's add position of relative to height and weight. So let's type BMR calculator form height and BMR calculator form weight and let's set the position to relative. And now let's position these units and for the units we have a division with the class of unit. So let's type BMR calculator form unit and uh, let's set the position to absolute and we'll set the right position to 20 pixels and we'll set the top position to 50 pixels and let's set the color of the text to 777. So that's it with the units. Now let's style this button. Now if you go back to the HTML file here we can see we have this button with the class of calculate button and uh, it is inside this result division. So let's type BMR calculator result calculate button and let's set a padding of 8 pixels top and bottom 24 pixels left and right and we'll set a margin of 16 pixels top and bottom and 0 for left and right and let's set the font size to 18 pixels and we'll set the font weight to 100 and let's set the text transform to uppercase and let's set the border to none and we will add a background color and I will set it to 333 and we'll set the color of the text to white and we'll set the cursor to pointer and we'll also bring it to the center now we have to bring both these elements to the center we have to bring the button and also this result message now both of them are inside this result division over here so let's target that. Let's type BMR calculator result and let's type text align set it to center and let's set the color of the text. So let's type color and uh, let's set it to 4E, 4E, 4E and let's set the font size to let's try 18 pixels and now let's style this number. So for the number we have a different styling over here. So if you go back to the index.html file here we can see for the number we have created a span and we have given it a class of calories. So let's target this. So here let's type BMR calculator result calories and let's set the color of the text to green and let's set the font size to 38 pixels and let's set the font weight to 900 and we'll also add some margin right. So let's tap margin right and we will set it to 8 pixels. And if you want to bring both of these to the center vertically, you can just add a line of code which is vertical align and set it to middle. Alright, now let's add some gap between this button and this result message. So for the button, let's add a margin bottom and let's set it to let's try 32 pixels and that looks all right so that's basically it with the styling of our bmr calculator and uh, with that we have completed the css of this design now in the next video we will add the javascript and make it work so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day